This is problem number 30 from the June 2015 Algebra Regents exam. Determine the smallest integer that makes this inequality true. So we've got negative 3x plus 7 minus 5x is less than 15. So obviously the first thing we need to do is actually solve this inequality. I notice right away that we've got two like terms here that we can combine. Uh, negative 3x minus 5x would become negative 8x. And then at this point, we can move uh, the 7 over by subtracting 7, canceling those out. And we get negative 8x is less than 15 minus 7. That gets us 8. And then finally, we would divide the inequality by negative 8. And of course, we need to remember that when we divide <coughs> or divide, multiply or divide an inequality with a negative number, the inequality switches direction. So instead of being less than, it will be greater than. And then 8 divided by negative 8 is negative 1. So our solution to the inequality is that x has to be greater than negative 1. Now we want to find out the smallest integer that makes this true. So instinctively, you might think negative 1 is the answer, right? But negative 1 isn't actually greater than negative 1. So the next greater integer bigger than that is 0. If it helps, you can try to visualize it on a number line, right? You've got negative 1 here, 0, 1, 2, negative 2 over here. If we were to graph this inequality, we would draw an open circle at the negative 1 and moving to the right. So you can see visually as well that the first integer value that satisfies this inequality is a value of 0. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.